to the Northamptonshire Wellbeing Programme. My name is Ian Matkin and this is my colleague Julie Wyatt. And we're both therapeutic radiographers at the Northamptonshire Centre for Oncology and we will be letting you know about the latest effects of radiotherapy for breast cancer. These are the points that we will be looking at today. So the linear accelerator and positioning of the patients, acute side effects, lymph node treatment, late effects, rarely occurring side effects, and then some further skin care advice. Ready therapy treatment is completed using a piece of equipment called a, a linear accelerator, which is a high energy x-ray machine. You may recognize the other piece of equipment, which is what we call a breastboard. This is the piece of equipment you will be laying on for your radiotherapy treatment. Your arms will be up in some support cups and you will have a support rest under your knees um, for, to help with positioning. Acute side effects are the side effects that can happen whilst you're going through the radiotherapy treatment. Your radiographers will be able to advise on the correct products to use and aftercare following on from radiotherapy. So you may find that your skin gets a bit sore whilst you're having your treatment. It can go a bit red, a bit sore and a bit itchy, um, a little bit like sunburn. You can use non-perfumed creams two to three times a day um, and be gentle with your skin when you're showering and pat dry rather than rubbing dry after your shower and maybe avoid irritable clothing fibres. You may find you are more tired than normal for this, hydration is the key. We're probably looking at you to drink two to three litres of water a day and ensure that you rest when tired. You may find that your breast um, swells. It may change in shape. It may change in size. Um, it might be better to swap to non endovired bras, maybe sports bras, um, whilst you're having this treatment. And for large festive ladies, you may find that the skin fold under the breast is an area that can get quite sore. Radiographers can arrange for dressings and wound gels if the skin blisters or breakdown develops. Um, there's also around the axilla and the clavicle can also get sore and can be areas of skin blistering and breakdown also. Um, less common of the side effects is a dry cough and that's in less than 1% of people, and maybe even a shortness of breath. Um, lymph node treatment, which includes treatment to the supraclavicular fossa, which is um, around the collarbone, or villa, which is the armpit, and stone nodes, which are the nodes which run along the um, breastbone. Um, uh, you may experience some shoulder stiffness, so during previous symptoms, post-surgical exercises can help, as well as pain relief. Swelling of the arm or hand, which is a condition known as lymphedema. Um, there can be a less than 1% risk of damage to the nerves in the arm, um, which is a condition called brachial, brachial plexus neuropathy, which would require physio and treatment of routine pain relief. And when we treat the nodes around the breastbone, it can cause some discomfort on swallowing. Medications for pain and discomfort will be arranged for you prior to the treatment. So just an overview of the late effects. Um, these are side effects that can develop months or even years after the end of your radiotherapy treatment. However, with improvements with the equipment and the accuracy in marking the exact areas to be treated, many of these side effects are much less common now. Serious side effects are very rare and experts agree that the benefits of the treatment in reducing the chance of the breast cancer coming back far outweighs the risk of possible side effects during the treatment and after. It is important to be aware of any changes and who to contact if concerned. Um, these would include your best care nurses, your GP, radiographers or Macmillan support. So late effects include a change in your breast shape, so it may feel harder or firmer. And this is a condition known as fibrosis and is caused by a buildup of scar tissue. There could be a change in the appearance of your skin, so um, the tone may be slightly darker. Telangiectasia, which is um, a condition where the blood vessels uh, arise to the surface of the skin, and um, the some breath and chest will tenderness, so routine pain relief um, is you can take routine pain, pain relief if required. An example of telangiectasia is on the next slide.
There are rarely occurring side effects that can happen with radiotherapy treatment. Um, for these, you're looking at maybe rib fractures. Radiotherapy itself can reduce the blood supply to the bones, which makes them thinner and increases the risk of the bone breaking. There is also a less than 1% chance of scarring of the, of the lung. This is known as fibrosis, which is hardening and thickening of the tissue, causing breathlessness months or years after the treatment. There is a small risk of cancer, less than 0.01% of people um, due to radiation. And for those patients that we've treated their left side, um, there is a risk of small damage to the heart muscle or to the major blood vessels around the heart. Uh, be aware of physical changes in the future, such as shortening of breath. There is a technique called DIBH or DI, deep inspirational breath holding um, that we use whilst you're having your radiotherapy treatment that can reduce the risk of damage to the heart. If you feel you've developed any of these side effects, please contact your best care nurse or your GP as soon as possible. Your skin is going to be more sensitive um, to the sun um, in the area that you have had treatment. This is likely to be a long-term effect, so you will need to take extra precautions when you are on holiday or out in the sunshine. Um, please use a high-factor sun protection, such as a back to 50 or a total sunblock, or use adequate clothing to cover up. Lymphedema is a chronic condition. It develops when the lymphatic system does not work properly. The lymphatic system is a network of channels and glands throughout the body that helps fight infection and removes excess fluid. Treatments that help manage lymphedema include wearing compression garments, taking good care of your skin, moving and exercising regularly, having a healthy diet and lifestyle, and using specialised massage techniques. If you are concerned that you have developed lymphedema, please contact your breast care nurse who can refer you on to a specialist if needed. Thank you for watching and here are some useful um, contact details for you.